Such videocy. Where to go next? I wish I had the magic powder. But I don't. I could also go to the desert. I can't go into the palace, but... I can get everything outside. But I'm gonna go see the bug catcher. Okay? I got the mushroom, and I sent you... Wait, I sent you the piece of heart of the... Okay, I sent you the piece of heart. I'm also gonna go add the I'm at the live base and some I can go be like, sup, witches. Watch your shield. You knew that. Oh, I just set a bomb down for no good reason. Nope, it's yours. I don't have a shield. Thanks. You have the shield, I have the sword. <laughs> Are we playing Pokemon? Yep. I'm going to die here, because there's... But I got you a better shield. Thank you, Mr. Hinox. How could you die with your better shield? Hinox? What you got for me, kid? I sent you some bombs. Wait, didn't he? Didn't he send like twenty dollars no! to me? No. Didn't the bug cousin kid give you like twenty dollars for me? Uh huh. And then he gave me twenty dollars for you. Why so. is there weird text on the bottom of my screen? I don't know. What is it? Maybe I don't know. Is that text? I don't know. I don't know. I need a plug on my phone. Anyway, I have you to You wait there, Mr. Squid Man. I have to go back to where I was because the Hinox was mean to me. I'm sorry. I still need to expend a little bit of magic so I can use this medicine so I can go buy some healing medicine. Where should I go next? I haven't been to the ice cave. I mean, you could... Oh, Link, why I did you attempt to go up Death Mountain? do that? <clears throat> Bomb fight, do I go up Death Mountain? Uh, what other dungeons could I do? Can't do that one, can't do that one, can't do that one. Uh, done that one. I don't do need... That one. I don't Magic, Mr. Bunny Guy. If I anything, I need a heart. What I really need is a sword. I swear, every time I go to take a drink, something bad happens to me. Well, wait and take a drink when you're in a screen where nothing's gonna happen to you. Or pause. Nah. Um, Yo, I, just, I just walked over a bomb and it missed me and hit the squid behind me. Hey, Nox. Oh, thanks. Oh, I have to kill these enemies to get out of this room. This, this is, this is troubling. <clears throat> now I have the sword and the shield. I may not survive this room once again. Okay, I'm good. with Death Mountain is you actually know your way around Death Mountain better than I do. So sometimes I have to. I want either Ubud or the lamp. Or both. I gotta need both eventually. Okay, this is just fairies. I'm ready to go down here. I'm supposed to be going in the woods. You haven't been in the woods yet? <clears throat> Dark Woods. Oh. Oh, you can do your favorite dungeon, Skull Woods. You know, it's not as bad as Misery Mile. I like Skull Woods. It's like my second favorite dungeon. Maybe third favorite. I mainly don't like the Wall Masters in I like the Dark House a lot, too. This. Oh, yay, Wizard Rose. Oh, yay, Useless Cave. This is how you get back out after you drop down. Why the frick is that a beam or stuff? Well, I can't go to that section because there's a beam sitting there. Like X time and I 
Yeah, I wish you could kill BMOs in the base game. Same. We need that present cannon from the Christmas randomizer. That's such an odd randomizer. It's fun, though. Yeah. There's more fun than the Advent Calendar randomizer. Ooh, you, you. I need the Titan Smith to go in Turtle Rock, right? Uh, yes. That map just killed a dinosaur. Did you say a map? Oh, because you changed the holes. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, did I just hammer the skull? Did that just happen? Is that a thing you can do in the game? Hammer pots and skulls? Enjoy oh. your bow. Was that a thing you can do in the base game? I've never done it before, so I don't know. I I am now utterly confused. Owie. Another bottle. I have like three out of my four bottles. I have one and I can't do anything with it because it's filled with green potion. I left one though. Of my bottles. What's, uh, one has a fairy and two are empty. Wow, lucky you. I don't think I'm just going in and out buying hearts. And I'm about to get killed no. by a lion. Sounds like a skill issue. I accidentally made a block and just blew out of Lionel. Oh. Okay, I went in there specifically to buy that one single heart. Don't lose it right away, Maddie. So anyway, three of my balls are empty. You, okay, you can't kill these guys without the master, can you? Correct. I mean, the hammer might work on him. I can tell you the bow doesn't. He has an L sticking out of his chest now. It's made him cooler. Ooh, thanks for the hearts, guys. You know what I'd like to stream sometime? What? SimCity. SimCity is a good game. It'd be really nice if we could do, obviously not a cross-world SimCity, but if we could just do dual-screen SimCity. We should play it one time without doing the money glitch thing, exploit, cheat. Because I'd like to like have us both have a city. Like My friends and I used to play it that way and just take turns. Yeah. But it'd be really fun if we could play simultaneously. Can't wait for the SimSane multi world randomizer. What would you even randomize in SimCity? Bro, I saw. I, I saw freaking someone doing Marvel Snap with this. I know. I saw it too. No, nothing would surprise me. I'm pretty sure they have Adventure. I'm pretty sure that's the Atari game. I'm not entirely sure. Man, there could be another game called Adventure. Fairies. Screw me. And how do you even randomize something like Minecraft and Link to the Past together? In the first place. How does that work? I mean, I'll break, would you break a tree and then... I'm, I don't know. You know Minecraft way better than I do. I have no clue. Just try it sometime. I tried to just stab a bird with my invisible sword. Break a tree and then... It didn't work. See what happens. Oh. And I have the Titan Smith now. When I was a kid, I had this, like, golden plastic sword. Not, like, real shiny gold, but, like, a matte gold. Mm -hmm. But, uh, it broke. Like, so the whole blade broke off, and I just had, like, the handle and the hilt left. Mm -hmm. And, or the, the handle and the guard, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so then it became my invisible sword. And that was, like, my sword. choice weapon when I was a kid. I have the invisible sword! It was like super powerful. Sometimes I annoyed my friends because I wanted to be able to cut through anything. Kind of like a lightsaber. I mean, are you even playing with a kid if that kid doesn't say, No, I win, not you. I don't know, I've never played with a goat. Well. I'm going in the uh, 
Tower of Terror. Playing with a child is like, I shoot you. No, you don't shoot me because I have a shield. Or, well, I have shield, piss, and bullets. Well, my shield is stronger than that. <laughs> so wait, am I the annoying kid in this scenario, or are my friends the annoying kid? Uh, yes. Probably all of you. Ugh. There's a very golden-colored Gibdos down here. You see, one thing about kids is they refuse to lose. It's like, no, me losing? No, I, I just, oh, I'm I just better. Them. That would have been so awesome. Now you see, when I used to play Stars Roblox RP. Ah, you're trapped. I no. used to actually have my character die. Oh no, die. they weren't trapped. I have to run. And by have my character die, I mean I had my character seem to die, but then they'd come back later. And by die, you meant you colored them with pigment. <laughs> oh, I didn't get a key, so I can't go through that door. <clears throat> yeah, I used to play... Uh, like the Star Wars timelines RP on Roblox, and I, I had like this one character that I'd always use, which is like a stone trooper that becomes. God, but why do I keep getting Hinoxes? I don't know. I'm here with worms, thieves, and uh, a red Igo. So, I I I was gonna say I can't kill him, but that remember I have the bow. So actually, I have no problems. Look, there's another freaking Hinox. I shoot this guy with the bow. Pfft. Someone stole from me, so I shot him. I mean, My bow. Why wouldn't be the first time that's happened? Yeah, I mainly would play as either a Mandalorian or a, st a Stormtrooper that becomes a Jedi. So, Finn? Proto Finn? Kinda. Sent to me. Gee, thanks for the money. Actually, I've been after Force Awakens. Came out honestly. Even though Finn didn't actually become a Jedi. No, I know. In the trilogy, because freaking. I recently heard that you. In like, deserved that. In like the comics or something, there's this one stone trooper that's just like a super badass. Mm -hmm. Like he has a lightsaber and just uses it. Yeah, we well, don't have to be a Jedi to use a lightsaber. Boba Fett has a collection yeah. of lightsabers. He teaches Jaina Solo alternative sword techniques to help her defeat her brother. And, and even in like one of the comics, it's like in between either New Hope and Empire, Empire and Jai, and like Luke is fighting the Stormtrooper, and Luke says something about using the first sensor, since him, and then the Stormtrooper beats Luke, so like, since this. No, that's not cool. Man, I really want those hearts. I mean, it's not cool that Luke got beat, but it's like, god damn. That guy is too strong. You know, these bushes kind of look like an Among Us. Oh, wait, you said it was between A New Hope and Jedi? Uh, it was sometime in between some of those. So, I mean, it's probably not like full power, Luke. Yeah, it was either between New Hope and Empire, Empire and Jedi. Either way, Luke wasn't yeah. too strong. I can't believe when you told me that there are people who really don't like... I mean, I can understand there's someone who doesn't like anything, but... I mean, there's a, there's a large community that doesn't like the Legacy of the Force series. Those books are so fantastic. They would have made such a great movie trilogy. They sound like they would. I, I think they're amazing. I absolutely love them. They're peak Star Wars to me. Okay, wait, what was that? Hold on, that bumper's going to change. i got to see this again. Yeah, honestly, Luke was not done well in the... I don't even know what Disney that was. Disney trilogy. Sequel trilogy, whatever. Yeah, no shit. I mean, maybe if JJ had stayed around and gotten to see his storyline played out, which I still wasn't crazy about based on what we did get to see, but... I don't know, I've heard a rumor that originally, at like the end of Force Awakens or whatever, 
Luke was gonna be like sitting down meditating with like stones flowing around him or anything. Yeah, you've told me something. But then he was asked to change that. that. I'm not sure uh, the validity of that. Look, for as much as I belittle JJ's Force Awakens as being just a really expensive fan movie, and in many ways just a retelling of the original Star Wars. I mean, honestly, that's the worst part about Force Awakens, that does not that But at the same time, I think the trilogy would have been better if one person had overseen all three of them instead of switching back and forth. It wasn't even supposed to be back and forth. It was originally going to be three separate people. But it, yeah. just Ryan Johnson just went in such a radically different direction. There's just such an incongruity in between the films. I mean, thanks for the, the, thanks for the coin. Them. It's not gonna help me though, because I have Moldorm waiting for me down here. Oh wait, can I be Moldorm with the, the hammer? Fish. I might can. Maybe. I mean, I'm probably I not going to. Because he has like a million eyes. Not that the eyes have anything to do with it. It's just unsettling. But honestly, I oh, think you can hit him with the hammer. I think so. Force Awakens is somehow the best of those three movies. I prefer the final one, whose name I can't even remember. Why is <laughs> Rise of Skywalker? Why is Skywalker just all over the place? Do you deny that it's better than Last Jedi, though? I honestly don't know. I mean, one you, has... You seriously like Last Jedi better than Rise of... No, you know what? Just stop. We're not talking Star Wars anymore during this. One has nope, somehow just... Palpatine returned in it. I don't care. Please stop. If that's the way you feel, we just need to not talk Star Wars. I don't like either one of them. <laughs> I thought... Look, Rise of Skywalker was perfectly good. It wasn't the best Star Wars movie, but it's better than Attack of the Clones. I feel, I feel like your yeah, expectations were just... They were lowered by then, don't low. get me wrong, but it's still better than Attack of the Clones. Expectations were beneath the floor by that point. It's still better. It's still way better than Last Jedi. I can't believe you would even suggest that Last Jedi is somehow better than that movie. I mean, one has like half an hour of pointless casino. One has somehow Palpatine returns. The half an hour pointless casino is the biggest deal breaker for you in I mean, it's The not Last the, Jedi? It's not the only bad thing. No, li Luke no lightsaber is. fights. Yeah, not a single class of lightsabers. In it. Bitched out Luke. Uh, the big villain Snoke, just a man. He completely destroyed. dismissing everything that was set up in the first movie in the trilogy. Uh, I'm um, I'm not sure where to go right this minute. Me <laughs> neither. Right this minute, I can go visit the desert. I mean, because I can try to be blind, but that's not really going to get me anything. Can you not? Can you go over to the white side of Death Man and get the hook shot cave? Oh, man, not the hook shot cave. I can't do the, the drop cave. down cave. I, I've already done Sorry. that. You did the drop down cave. I've done everything I can do because I don't have the Titan's mitt or the mirror, so I can't. Hmm. Anything else you can do on Death Mountain? Because I mean, if I go into Dark World Death Mountain over there near Tower of Hera, I can't really do anything, can I? Oh, by Tower of Hera, there's only the Spike Cave, I believe. And I'm not gonna be able to do that right now. Yeah. Ugh. I can't get in the desert palace. I can't. F I technically can finish the eastern palace, but it's not going to help me much. Honestly, I'm not sure what's the boss Paul Palpatine returning. The fact that the whole explanation just somehow Palpatine returned, uh, the fact that he was technically he technically returned in a Fortnite event. I mean, okay, that's bad, but just him being there is like, you know what, by now, it's better than what we got in the last movie. It's honestly probably better than what we got in Force Awakens, too. I mean, of course, there's the whole question of how he he's even alive after, you know... I mean, you do realize this is science exploded. fiction and high fantasy. I mean, there's a lot of things that are going to be questionable yeah. in it. And the question of how the Death Star wounds are there, and the Death Star are... Anyway... I don't know where... Oh, wait, I do have the mushroom. I can do that, at least. And also the question of how the ancient Sith knife lines up perfectly with the Death Star wounds. I can, um... I guess the person who made that knife had a precognition. Or, never mind. Anyway. Whatever. Anyway. I had a vision of the oh, wait. Future. I need to go get some smooches from Zelda and get my heart up. Is there anything else in the desert? This mu did you get Sarasa's brother's cave? Yeah. I have one thing in the desert. Twenty dollars out there. Don't know who for. Anyway, this mushroom is my last best hope. I mean, you haven't saw any of the dungeon in the dark world. I can't get to the dark world. Yes, you can. You have the hammer and the power glove, don't you? Oh, I'm an idiot. You're right. 
I'm thinking I needed the Titans and Mets. You you only need the Titans and Mets for yeah 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 the Ice Palace. You're right. Vegemire, you're right. You're right. You're right. One side of the village. I'm trying to figure out what I can do. Okay, yeah, it's a whole new world. For I'm me. fine. I just have to wait till you go into these town and pick up an arm. Yeah, let me get this item and then I can go start doing that. Oh, I got me a cane. That's nice. I'd like to have a sword. I'm really starting to worry that I set this for swordless. Which, I mean, I'm not against doing a swordless run, but I really didn't want to do that this time, so... Which cane did you get? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Nice. The staff of Samaria or the cane of Samaria. Yeah, I've seen it both no ways. Way I mean, I could go get you a heart from Zora, but I don't think that's really gonna help you the one who's advanced at this point. Yeah. I'm gonna need either a mill, an Uber, or a lamp, I believe. Have you been to the ice rod cave? No, I have not. I should go though. Something to do at least. And though I do have the ice rod. I understand, but it's yes. just the cave where you normally get the ice rod. Unfortunately, the ice rod literally does like nothing for you except for helps you beat Twinex. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I guess it is an effective weapon against enemies, but... Yeah, it's a fairly effective weapon, but... It's like it doesn't open anything for you. Correct. But then again, how many items really do? I mean, most items open at least one thing. <clears throat> the bow opens the end to the first dungeon, the light world, and the dark world. Ham opens some... I couldn't even beat Aghanim right now if I wanted to. I mean, I don't want to, and it wouldn't really do anything for me, but... I also cannot reach Agano, as I don't have the Master Sword of the Cape, or the Blue King. Alright, going to the Dark World for the first time. Yippee! For a second, the teleporter did not want to work. Make sure you get the cave by the Swamp Palace. It has like five items. Yeah, I know my way around the Dark World. Can I even get there right now, though? I'm in Dark Kakariko. I can't get down there yet, can I? Oh, Magic Cave. Is that doing anything for me? I mean, I can go be the Aghanim. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've been to the temple. There's an item there. What do you mean by the temple? In the dark world. Yeah, I'm so confused. The big temple in the middle. Oh. Oh, yeah. Anyway, chess game got you a quarter of a heart. Yippee. But honestly, the worst thing Force Awakens did was... You know, I said I didn't want to talk about Star Wars anymore. I guess kill Han and, ha and maybe the Bay vs. Kylo fight. You know I said I didn't want to talk about Star Wars anymore. I thought we were having a good time playing through a fun game together, and now okay. you just want to make me angry. Angie. I mean, I wasn't going to be angry, because I thought we were on the same page, but then you had the nerve to suggest that somehow Rise of Skywalker might be worse than The Last Jedi. I mean, both aren't good. Which is the absolute worst Star Wars anything I'll ever made. The I fucking Christmas, watched... The fucking Christmas special is better than The Last Jedi, I haven't as watched far as both Star Wars back content. Back. I'm according to you, The Last Jedi, my Star Wars stuff is actually a good movie. Oh, it's a decent movie. It's a terrible Star Wars project, though. Look I'm... at what it does to the big hero of Star Wars. Yeah, I'm saying It has no that. lightsaber fights. The one fight it does has horrible I choreography. I don't really particularly like it as a movie. And also, Am I missing... Shackoff's X-Wing. Wait a minute. Aren't there two... Chess and Dark Kakariko. Yes. Not the chess game. I got that. And I got One is in that little shack. The other is near the top right. I knew there should be another one. <clears throat> right, there we go. Sword? Sword? Have an ocarina. Oh, that's sick. Thanks. I can go to Death Mountain now. I'm still mad about Shuckoff's X-Wing. 
Like, if you have an X-Wing in the water, have Luke pull it up. Yeah, I, when we were watching that movie, and Ray left already, without the X-Wing being pulled up, and Luke was, like, stomping up to be all emo and destroy the texts. At first, I was like, I leaned over to your mother, and I was like, oh, Luke's gonna do it himself. She's like, do what? I'm like, just watch. And he ended up not doing it. Yeah, and they ended up, you know, with the text, and Yoda was like, mm, those don't mean anything, but apparently they meant something, because Ray kept them, and that was like the big, that movie even contradicts yeah. itself. I hate that movie so much. And Yoda used lightning from the sky. As opposed to lightning from his ass. Well, no, this, <laughs> this thing called false lightning that you shoot from your hands. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm doing the digging game. Let's see if I get anything. Have you done the digging oh, game? Oh, I forgot about the digging game. I thought you needed a shovel for it. No, he provides one. Yeah. I remember that now. But yeah, but apparently Force Ghost can just strike things with lightning. Oh. And that's just very, very coincidental timing. I got myself a bow. The Yoda already knew lightning would strike right there, and he's just pretended to use the lightning. Well, I mean, he is a spirit, and he does have a connection to the Force, so that's actually not inconceivable. <laughs> Alright, I think I pretty much made my money back. And I got a bow, which doesn't help me advance at this point, but at some point I'm going to need it, so... Hmm, print him, I will! <laughs> Thank you for watching, now we invite you to do all that good stuff. Comment, subscribe, like, just letting you know, not trying to be rude. I don't have to tell you how to YouTube, but please tune in for the next show. We'll be back with more video see before you know from Maddie and Dylan, etc. at all. We will video see you. Peace out, y'all.